welcome back to the channel. Man, it is good to see you guys again. So I have been working on a concept. See, I started to uh, sketch it out on wood and then I realized, you know what, this wasn't gonna work. So I started to do it on a second piece of wood, trying to get that figured out. And I just said, you know what, forget it. This ain't gonna work. Um, so, if you come over here, here, I have a whole bucket of this stuff. This, it's like extruded aluminum. Um, basically, I use this stuff uh, for the GPU mining rigs. This is like four or five mining rigs, um, and, and I don't use them anymore. So I just have this aluminum laying around. Got this brand new bandsaw that came in great today and as you can see i used it i mean this thing cut through this aluminum like butter it was it was gorgeous it allowed me to make these legs right and i built this frame okay i just got done washing it what i'm gonna do next side and spray paint it blacken it up because you can see like the scruff marks in it and stuff where I, i've used this for many many things but today I got it down pat. Check this out, y'all. Y'all gonna like this. Look at this. Not only does this tire stand, because that's what it is, holds one, two, three, four different tires. It holds four different tires. You have your eight scale truck, you have your eight scale buggy, you have your 10th scale truck, and then you have your 10th scale buggy, right? Bro, I've been working on this for like, two days now check this out look 10 scale boom goes right here right 10 scale bada bing holds 10 scale you can put eight scale buggy tires there and then the big dogs they can sit in the back either there or there i made two slots for them okay so you can hold four tires in each slot so you know just do the math right isn't that awesome it holds <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, originally, I just like, you know what? I just need this to hold, you know, my eight scale tires. Cause I don't, I'm not going to get real big in a 10 scale. Most of my stuff's going to be eight scale. So I did this. That's what this is. You see, these are the, the gaps in between on the wood. That's why this says outside, inside, outside, inside. This alone took me a few hours to mock up correctly on the wood because I had to measure all of these squares and stuff to get them perfect um, all the way through because they they differentiate you know 10 scale 8 scale buggy 8 scale truck you know they, they're different diameters and stuff so it had to slowly get bigger so it I think it works phenomenally I think it's going to work perfect for what we need it to do you guys like this? Man, I hope you guys do. If you guys like it, make sure to leave me a like on this video if you like it. So yeah, it's a 10 scale and 8 scale Bucky tire. Check this out, speaking of trucks. So the way that this was labeled was is that this was a Arma truck 818 four wheel drive for 24 bucks on eBay. I bought it. It came in the mail, guess what? It's a 10th scale body. This will not fit my truck in any way. But anyway, um, I went ahead and reordered the eight scale body, the correct body. And I thought that, you know what, the color concept or the scheme that I wanna do on it, I'm gonna test it out on this. So what you got is you have a uh, difference of blues. So it goes darker, lighter, and then the next color that I wanna blend in is like a, a purplish kind of color. So you'll have like a blue, and then when the light hits it, you'll see some purple in it. But um, as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't fit the truck. Um, no matter, which way I could probably get it to fit that way but I would have to cut out the whole front end of the truck just to make room for the shocks and even then the body's not going to sit right so it, it's just going to be wall art now it's actually meant for a outcast it's an outcast 4s body 
that's what it's actually supposed to go for. Anyway, I told the dude, I said, hey man, you completely, uh, you know, told me wrong, man. You mislabeled that. And he said, no, I didn't. It's a four wheel drive Arma truck. I'm like, yeah, but you have one eight written in the, in the category. You know, uh, the dude's an idiot, man. So, painting it, and it looks, it looks great. I used a nice gloss black. It's expensive paint, but it does an outstanding job to it. Look at that. It looks good. This is going to look good once it dries. Good deal. Since we're on the subject of tires, look. I just got some tire glue in because our new grasshopper tires are not glued and I'm gonna do a video and show you guys how to properly glue tires and how to properly unglue them too. You boil them in water and that kind of thing. And then you know you use the CA glue and stuff and you just basically run that bead back like that and run the glue in there. You can even use a rubber band to squeeze it all together but that's for a different video. Um, I like my tire rack. Great. I can take my tires, boom, put them on the car, take them off, boom, put them on the rack. Same with the big ones. Let's say, I, let's say I want to go with big tires. Put big tires on, boom, I'm done running them. They're dirty. Take them off, put them on the rack. If they're dirty, like I said, spray them off, man. Ingenious. If there was ever a reason why you guys should subscribe or share my videos, I believe that this should be one of them. I mean, this thing too, who else just buys an RC car and then turn around and then jumps a thousand dollars into it? So I think that this is where it will sit and chill for now on. I like it. It does its job perfectly. You guys like it? I mean, I was trying to design something that would do just this. And I am extremely excited that this came out the way it can. And the best part is you can replicate it. And you don't need any special tools either. You could do all that with a hand saw. You don't need a, a, a band saw to cut that, to cut the aluminum like that. Um, and then that gloss black came out nice, gave it a good shine. So that way I can even take this to the track with me and set it up on my table and stuff. So that way if I need to do something, Plus, you could even wash the tires. Like, you could put muddy tires in there and then just spray them off. Uh, I kind of miscalculated, though. It doesn't... I was trying to get it to hold eight tires. It don't. It holds seven tires. And then in the back here, it only holds three big ones, not the fourth one. So, I kind of mismeasured that by, like, maybe a half an inch or so. Guys... I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you like this. You can pick this up too. It's real easy. All you need is a drill. And I use the bolts that actually came with the kit. And it's a uh, it's a GPU bracket. Or a mining GPU kit. It's like 30 bucks for it. Cheap. I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe. Check out some of our other videos. And as always, thank you for watching. See y'all in the next one. You guys be cool. Peace.